I looked up to my grandfather. He taught me about the Lord and you know the lifestyle of Christianity. And when my grandfather died, it really hit me hard. And with that, I was starting to question God and why things happen. Well, I was thinking about joining the gang at the time because uh, money was number one, protection, and family. One night, me and a friend, we've always been doing crazy stuff, and he said, hey, you wanna go car hopping? So I said, yeah, sure, no problem. We went out and we got caught. And in jail, I met somebody who had been there at least 16 times. And he goes, you're too young to already be messing up your life. After that, I really started thinking about things through. When I got out, one of my family members was going to church every Sunday, and I hadn't been to church in seven years. So I thought, you know, why not? And so I went, and right at the beginning, they just welcoming, loving, asking me, who are you? How was your day? You know, things like that. I wanted to go to church more and more often. It made me want to go. When I was in church, I saw the video. This guy was just talking about his addictions and how it was taking him from God it got me really thinking about all the things that I have done in my past. And that was the turning point for me, that I just really wanted to start my life with Christ. So I walked up that Sunday and I asked my preacher if I could be baptized and to identify myself with Christ. And he said, of course. I looked at him and I said, I don't think I can be forgiven for all that I've done. And he said, you already have. You already have been forgiven. I felt overjoyed. I broke down in tears. To know somebody's forgiven you is, is a true happiness, but to know that God has forgiven you, uh, that's a blessing. Well, right after I got baptized, tons of people just started coming up and wanting to get to know me and shaking my hand and saying, we're here for you. Well, if you need anything, call me. Here's my number. That overwhelmment of love and care and, and friendship. And all three of those put together for me is family. I still struggle with temptations, but I, I go to my family in Christ, the church, to help me, and they're always there to support me and kind of put me right back on track.